here we go guys our first c4 triple c4 raid am i really gonna be doing this oh my goodness am i really doing that guys second c4 so let's place now a third c4 we're gonna place it over here hopefully i place it on the right wall no, I escaped, dude. Oh my goodness, almost died there. Hey, yo, guys, me, Circle. Welcome back to another episode of Last and Earth Survival. So right now, we are gonna go for the raid because I have done all the tasks besides one to find that stupid colonel or whatever it's called. Because yesterday on the live stream, I've been grinding guys for these items to give for Lucas. So that's what I am gonna do right now. I'm gonna give those items to Lucas and then we will start the raid and hopefully I'll get something right. But I'm pretty sure that I'm not the only one who can't find this colonel and kill all these mini bosses because for some reason, they, they, they don't spawn. I've been searching for maybe for an hour i visited that red zone probably like 10 or 15 times if not more and i still couldn't get him and i still couldn't find him so i think that that's a little bit broken and i'll just have to skip that task and in my opinion that task maybe is even worse than which task because at least which task isn't random you know you have to actually go and kill her but finding that colonel is just insanely hard like it's just absurd i've been grinding this pinewood zone for hour maybe two hours and i still couldn't find that colonel it's just crazy but I've complained about that like throughout whole the live stream. So I'm not gonna go and repeat the same thing over here once again. So before we go anywhere else, I would like to say thanks for these YouTube members who decided to sponsor the channel. And they are James Rowan, First Law, Tripper Official, Sean Aglenius, David Menzies, and Daydreamer FW. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. That really means a lot. I'm also planning to do live streams for members chat only. So yeah. Thank you once again, and let's continue with the video. So let's go. I'm gonna give all these items now to Lucas, and hopefully I'm gonna reach, like, maybe at least level 10, but I doubt that. I don't think we're gonna reach here anything. Here we go. We got, guys, one energy drink, or maybe we'll reach, actually, here at least something. You know what? Here we go. Let's take our deserved electronic circuit. Let's give all of these thingity things. But I'm uh, being here. We go. We got another energy drink. Now let's give him all of these threads. I feel like each time we're giving these items, it takes more and more reputation. No, here we go. Another stack of those. Almost! God damn it, guys. A little bit, and we would have gotten this uh, side times four, and then only a little bit more, and we're gonna get this blueprint. So, I mean, so far, it's pretty cool. Like, I think we're still gonna have enough time, because when we go to the shop, and it still says that we have nine days left, so that's cool. Hopefully, Lucas is still gonna stay here for nine days. And probably I would have gotten that, because yesterday on the live stream, I grinded this red zone, and I actually died by accident. So, I don't really remember even how I died there, but I did die, and I lost, like, a couple of stacks of those threads. So, that's sad. So, I'm totally ready to go for the raid. I took to see forced to a couple of hatchets but before we go let's actually wash our chopper because that will be really rude to go and raid somebody's base with a totally dirty chopper here we go guys now it's totally cleaned like literally guys totally now let's go and talk to raiders like <clears throat> here we go let's complete that bits bits i can't sit on my chopper guys like really i can't sit on my chopper i can't talk to him there is a bug guys what the frick okay now i can't sit on it very nice so we're gonna be raiding pitcraft let's go on youtube and let's check it out what kind of base is this because yesterday again i got a couple of comments saying that how do you search bases on youtube the thing what you have to do there is type ldoe raid pitcraft or whatever other base name it is i think guys you got the point so i've just done some good amount of research on this base and oh my god i'm not gonna say anything else than that because I don't want to ruin and spoil anything. Wait, I gotta go back to the base and take a third C4 because this base needs three C4s. Well, hopefully it's not gonna disappear. Well, it's still there because it didn't make any noise and hopefully when I come back to the base, it's still not gonna give me any more noise because I do need three C4s. I totally forgot about that. I could get away with only two C4s, but you know what, guys? Just for you, we're gonna waste all of my C4s that I have. Three C4s, imagine that. Who would have thought? Three C4s! I can't believe that I'm gonna use that. And I don't really need that many iron hatchets, so I'm gonna leave two iron hatchets just to not waste them. Hopefully, I'm right. So here we go. We are entering his base, and hopefully, hopefully. I didn't make any noise. Please tell me that it's still zero. Here we go, guys. It is still zero noise. So let's try to loot his truck. And he has nothing over there. So I gotta be very careful and make sure that I explode the right walls. Okay, so first of all, it doesn't really matter where we will place our first C4. So I'm just gonna place it somewhere over here, let's say. Okay, hopefully that will work. Here we go, guys. Our first C4. Triple C4 raid. Am I really gonna be doing this? Here we go. First C4, baby. Some might say, the well, sorry, that's enough. But no, no, no. We're gonna go deeper. And we gotta place another C4 over here. Oh my goodness, am I really doing that, guys? Second C4! 
But it's exactly, we exploded now the right thing and I'll have to place, guys, even a third C4. But first of all, let's clear this wave. Here goes Zombuzis are gonna die, guys. And seriously, this raid has to be pretty great, at least from the things that I've seen. And hopefully I am gonna get those things, guys. Uh, okay, another dude while he's coming. So let's place now a third C4. We're gonna place it over here. Hopefully I place it on the right wall. No, escape, dude. Oh my goodness, almost died there. Here we go. We're gonna open up, guys, all of those trunks. And we already made 68 noise. Imagine that. That's already goddamn crap tons of noise. But not a big deal. The only thing I have to say, guys, all of that isn't a big deal because we are gonna come back home not empty-handed. This isn't gonna be one of the best raids I've done because I need to, to use here 3C4, so this raid isn't gonna get more than 6 anyways now. But, hey, if I got a bunch of guns, I could've gotten more. But basically, I really, guys, wasted here a bunch of weapons. I uh, Not a bunch of weapons, but a bunch of C4s. Okay, so the first trunk isn't really that great, but let's try to loot this one. Hopefully, it's still gonna be the same base. Well, we got a couple of guns. That's pretty cool. Not amazing, but I mean... We got a scar and two AKs and a Glock. Pretty fine. And hopefully this chest... Exactly, guys. Look at all the freaking turkey that we're gonna get from him. It's just mwah, beautiful. And I'm not really sure what other trunks I have to chop down. But I feel like we gotta chop down this trunk. Because we're gonna get here some Gucci stuff, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, oh no, only four. Like, what the frick, guys? He was supposed to have here nine steel bars, not only five. But hey, I gotta say no to that. The point is, the big one is gonna spawn here. So I don't really wanna go and play around with the big one. As if I die here... That will be a bit sad and I lose my backpack and I really guys don't want to lose my backpack because most of you will just unsubscribe me. So guys, let's not lose the backpack. Okay, so I'm going to fill up my chopper now with a bunch of turkey. I could maybe die and go back to my base and you know and take more turkeys, but I don't want to risk that. If I lose the backpack, I'll lose the backpack. Like some people left comments again that it's not working, but I'm pretty sure like I'm 90% sure that that's still uh, the die glitch is still working here. If you die and you're going to spawn back at the base and you'll be able to come back here once again, but I just don't want to risk that. Let's not be too greedy. Let's take only what we need and let's get the frick out of here. Here we go, guys. More turkeys. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm not really sure if there's anything great on his base, but I do know if we're gonna chop down, guys, this trunk, we will get some Gucci stuff. So let's open that up and we're gonna get, guys, an insane amount of SWAT sets. So I feel like... That would be a great idea to take it. Also, most likely, I'm gonna... Well, I still can chop down one more trunk. I don't remember what we're gonna get into this trunk. So, let's open that up. But, it's, but it's, guys, here we go. And inside, we got a bunch of fur. Well, fur is kind of cool, but I don't think I'll be taking it. And I still can chop down one more trunk. But I feel like it's gonna be totally bad. Like, this one isn't gonna have anything. Whatever, let's fill back our inventory with more turkeys. I think that stack of turkeys is uh, always more valuable than a hatchet. We can always craft hatches, but these turkeys are gonna be very worth it to grow our puppies so i'm not sure if i really want to go and explode one more uh, destroy one more chest because i do know that this chest probably doesn't really have anything great we've gotten already the best loot pro probably possible like some of you might say the swat sets are more worth it the turkeys and it's like eh, turkeys are really really beautiful i mean really great that's what i'm just trying to say here so yeah so these chests aren't gonna have anything else i did watch more videos and those chests don't really guys have anything great so let's just take more turkey and uh, i think that my chopper is full of turkey these the inventory is full of turkey here as well. Like, all I have to say is that is, it's, guys, a lot of turkey. I also think I'll take more turkey in, instead of my bandages. Because bandages are kind of great, but I feel like turkey is more valuable. Like, stack of turkey, it's a lot of turkey more than bandages. So, let's take that as well. So, this was definitely an insane base. But now, let's go and count how much turkey we're going to go, we're going to bring back home. How many pieces of turkey we'll bring back home. So, that is, guys, literally 600 turkey. Because here, I also have here some turkey. Guys, that's insane. 600 pieces of turkey. That's what we're gonna bring back home. And plus some guns, like three guns. So I would definitely, guys... You know what? It costed me three C4s. If, if it costed like one C4 or something, I would have gave this base an eight, right? Like two C4s? Okay, whatever. Let's give it a seven. But if... It costs like three C4s to get this loot, then I don't really know how great it is. Like, let's... Like, giving it a 6 feels bad, but I did have to use, guys, 3C4, so I'm still gonna give it, like, a 6. Like, some of you might not agree with that, but, guys, basically, 3C4s is a lot and a lot of time to grind for that and to get the loot that I got here. Whilst it's cool, but I can't give it a higher rating just because I had to use an insane amount of C4s to get here. But again, guys, 6 isn't bad by today's standards and last than Earth raids, at least in my opinion. Like, I've gotten raids that you could rate, like, 0.5, so getting a 6 rate is kind of great. It's just, where am I gonna keep all 
all that turkey. I already had a little bit of it, but we're gonna keep, keep it here in these racks. Hopefully, they're not gonna go bad because I'm still not planning to feed my puppies. I'm not planning to overfeed them. I'm just gonna use the turkey just to get the buff and that's it. In my opinion, that's the best way to feed them. If I would have gotten my full inventory of guns, like, it doesn't matter what, like, Glocks, AKs, M16s, doesn't matter. I would have given, I would have given this raid an A7, but turkeys are kind of great, but I'm not really gonna use them that much. Like, I already had enough turkeys. I didn't really have problem with that. That's why I'm giving this raid only a 6, even though it's great. I don't even know why I'm explaining my reasoning behind why did I give this raid a 6, not a higher rating, because I do know that some people would say that, wow, that's a great raid, but 3C4s and for such loot, it's like, mm, pretty cool, but definitely could have been better, but also could have been worse. So let's just say thanks for what we got. Also, now let's go and let's pay these raiders at least a little bit. Where are my air filters? Okay, we're gonna take 16 air filters. Not gonna give them all of that, because of course, they would just take it. Okay, so I just give them one air filter and they're happy. Seems true. Knew I could trust you. Here we go. Take that. And get out of my lawn. And let's call them once again. And let's see what kind of tasks we will do right now. But before, let's go and get some coal. Bada bing. One stack over here. Uh, one stack over there. And let's put that coal inside of the furnace. Because it has to keep grinding the steel. And we already got, have here, guys, 14 steel. That's great. And I don't have here any aluminum bars. So I'll have to add here some aluminum bars. But uh, let's dial raiders. Bada bing. They're going to spawn. So let's refill the furnace right now. Here we go. It keeps grinding. Very nice. So my other tasks. Okay, we got to find a C4. Not a bad task. I really don't have problems with tasks where you have to find C4. Because no matter what, you still have to grind for them. And this just motivates you more to find C4s. Because without C4s, you can't really raise. So in my opinion, that task, that task is kind of fine. This one is easy peasy as well. Not a big deal. Five turrets, easy peasy. We'll have to find guys. Uh, Sergeant Kowalski. We're freaking find uh, that couple and bind bushes and put them to rest. What? Like, this is a trash thing. And again, I have to go and recycle three guns. And for those who don't know, the best way probably to do this task, of course, is to recycle, like, broken guns. But if you don't have any broken guns, if you break them completely, you can go and recycle your zip guns because that works perfectly fine. And I don't really use my zip guns on anything else. But but that's just in my case. But I would seriously still suggest you using your zip guns on Frenzy Giants if you don't have any other guns. But if you have enough guns, then you can go and recycle your zip guns, broken zip guns, or any broken weapon. That's gonna work perfectly fine. So these tasks aren't really that hard. We'll have to search for... C4, don't really know how we're gonna do that. Maybe we're gonna get buff or something at Sector 7 and then I'll just do the hard mode bunker, we'll see. Maybe we're gonna open up Red Crate or maybe most likely we're gonna grind all that in today's live stream if I'm gonna do one. And also guys, make sure to follow me on Instagram or Twitter at HappySyrek, because why not? I highly suggest you checking out my Resident Evil 2 Let's Play. Just click here on the first card and you'll go straight away there. Or click here on the second card and you'll watch a recommended video just for you. And I'm uploading such videos on YouTube every single day. So make sure to drop that subscribe button and the notification bell to not miss any future videos. Also guys, drop that like button while we're at it. And peace, 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 peace out. Mm-hmm. Yeah.